Janine Pettit, founder of Girl Camper and editor-in-chief of Girl Camper Magazine. We're talking about water damage today. And you know, water damage is one of the number one causes of damage in an RV. And most of that water damage takes place from something going on on your roof. It's so important that you get up on that roof at least once a year and check on it. If you don't want to do that yourself, just get somebody else to climb up there and check it out and, and seal all those seals. Mark Polk is here and he's going to walk us through some of the things we should be looking for or our friend Not Afraid of Heights should be looking for up on your RV roof. Stay tuned. Thank you, Janine. Safety first. Be extremely careful when you're working on your RV roof. When you clean the roof, the surface is slippery and there are lots of obstacles you can trip over. Let's do some preventive maintenance on the RV roof right now. Keeping debris like leaves, tree sap, and branches off the roof will help extend the life of the roofing material. If possible, try to avoid parking the RV under trees. The sun and UV rays can also damage components and sealants on the RV roof, especially over time. If your RV is not stored inside a building or under some type of shelter, you may want to consider purchasing a cover for the RV when it is in storage. Cleaning the RV roof. If the RV roofing material is rubber or vinyl, do not use any cleaners or conditioners that contain petroleum solvents, harsh abrasives, or citrus ingredients. Most manufacturers recommend products to use when you clean the roof surface. Usually a medium bristle brush and a non-abrasive cleaner will do the job. For light cleaning, you can use warm water and a mild detergent like Dawn dishwashing liquid. For more difficult cleaning and to condition and protect the roof, there are commercial cleaning products designed specifically for the type of roofing material your RV has. Hard to clean areas like stubborn stains caused by leaves, sap, or mildew may require a second treatment. We personally use Dicor roof cleaning products. You can walk on most RV roofs, but you should check the RV owner's manual first. When in doubt, or in the case of small RV roofs, you can use a ladder to do the roof cleaning and inspecting. Start on the front of the roof and work your way to the back. On larger RVs, it is easier to work on the RV roof. Keep in mind that the roof surface can be extremely slippery when using soap and water. Also, pay attention to the obstacles on the roof like air conditioners and vents protruding from the surface. Always rinse the sides, front and back of your RV, before and after rinsing the roof to prevent cleaners from streaking or damaging the graphics and finish on your RV sidewalls. It is best to have a helper on the ground to continue rinsing the RV. Inspecting the RV roof. Cleaning the roof is only part of the RV roof maintenance. Every time you clean the roof, you need to inspect the sealants around all the openings and all the seams on the roof. Water will take the path of least resistance and if there is a small opening, it will find it. You need to thoroughly inspect the roof sealants for potential leaks and reseal any areas of the roof seams and around openings where you suspect a leak. Inspecting all the sealants and resealing suspect areas can help prevent expensive repairs caused by water damage. I recommend getting on your hands and knees and thoroughly inspecting the sealants. You must look very closely for any small cracks, gaps, and loose or aged sealants. Sealing the RV roof. If you identify any seams or sealants that could potentially leak, it is important you use the proper type of sealant to make the required repairs. The wrong type of sealant can damage the roofing material, not seal properly, and possibly void the manufacturer's warranty. Consult the owner's manual or an authorized RV service facility for the type of sealant to use. If you identify any water damage to the structure of the RV during your routine inspections, have it repaired immediately. Make sure the roof is clean and dry where you plan to reseal the roof and use a caulking gun to run a bead of caulk wherever you suspect a potential leak. RV 101 tip. You can use denatured alcohol on a clean rag to clean and prep the area prior to resealing. Do not saturate the roofing material with the alcohol. In addition to inspecting the roof seams and sealants, you need to inspect the roof vents, plumbing vents, and the refrigerator vent for cracks, damage, or obstructions. Any cracked or broken components should be replaced immediately. Inspect the air conditioner shroud for any damage and for secure mounting. 
To help protect the roof vents and use the vents in any type of weather, I recommend installing vent covers over the roof vents. They are inexpensive and easy to install. If you have vent covers installed over the roof vents, you can leave the vents cracked open during storage for circulation and cross ventilation in the RV's interior. If you are not comfortable installing the roof vents, have the work done by a reputable RV service center. If you are not comfortable with the idea of working on the RV roof, make an appointment with your local RV dealer to have the work done. Remember, routine cleaning, inspecting, and resealing your RV roof can add years to the life of your roof and help prevent costly repairs caused by water damage. To learn more about using and maintaining your RV, visit rvonlinetraining.com. Happy camping!